Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another rock, another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 27 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Superman. Superman has left the blazing inferno of Stone House and gone winging his way back over the sound toward the wrecked auto gyro of the Indian priest who had recovered the emerald of the Incas from Dr. George Haven Beecham, world famous scientist and explorer, and set fire to his temporary home. Remaining on the grounds of Stone House to watch the blaze and summon help, Dr. Beecham and his daughter Elsie have both made startling and important discoveries. As our story continues today, we find them in a small car racing toward a distant airport hoping against hope to get there in time. Listen. Watch out. Here's the curve. Elsie, you almost hit that car. Oh, Dad, it, it's all right. Look here. That thing you picked up on the lawn. You hardly told me about it at all. Providential. Simply providential. If we can only find those native priests. Well, what'll you do? I'll show them what I found. The sacred amulet of the head priest. Almost as sacred as the emerald itself, Elsie. Not quite, but almost. And you really think you can bargain with it? Only if I can get there. Only if we can make the airport before they can take off in their plane. Dad, what will you do? I'll return the amulet and borrow the emerald. That's all I want of it. I don't mean to keep it. I never intended that. Dad, this emerald, is it really as important as all that? Yes, Elsie, I've told you once, and I'll tell you again. If I can recover the emerald of the Incas and decipher the writing carved on its base, I may have found the secret of life itself. Possibly the secret of life everlasting. Oh, hurry, dear, faster if you can. I'm doing my best, Dad. We must get there in time to head them off. I tell you, we must. I wonder if that reporter Kent has found the auto gyro. Meanwhile, high over the water of the sound, Superman wings and wheels. His marvelous telescopic eyesight piercing the blackness below. Here comes sign of the wrecked auto gyro. I could have sworn this was the place. Just off that point with the white building. Oh, wait. What's that? Far down below the surface. Looks like wreckage underwater. That plane was sunk deliberately. Well, the next thing to do is pay a call at the nearest station of the Coast Guard. Up! Up! That White House looks like the place. There's the signal light. Down we go, right in the front yard. sound sleep. The chances are they keep somebody on duty all night anyway. For the moment, I'll have to become Clark Kent. Superman might amaze even the Coast Guard. All right, all right. What's the big rush? Oh, I'm sorry to disturb you, but... What what is, well, what is it? I'm looking for some friends of mine who set out this afternoon in an auto gyro. Oh, an auto gyro, hey? Yes. You know them fellas? Well, uh, we're acquainted. We've met. Well, they ain't here. But they've been picked up all right. Oh? Seems they had trouble and came down on the water about a mile out. Indians, wasn't they? Oh, well, yes, more or less. Well, if they ain't, they sure got a swell tan. Anyhow, we brought them in and they beat it. Well, can you tell me where they've gone? Central Airport, they said. We couldn't understand half their lingo. They don't speak English so hot. Central Airport? You mean they've chartered another plane? I mean they're leaving for parts unknown. They told me the time. It's just about five minutes from now. Five minutes? So unless you're figuring on getting to that airport by radio or flying there yourself, you're out of luck. It's 30 miles. Oh, thanks. Sorry to have bothered you. Okay. Too bad you missed your friends, but maybe they won't take off. The barometer's falling. Looks like dirty weather coming up. Good night. Good night. So you think I've missed them, sailor, eh? Well, live and learn. Five minutes before they take off, huh? The airport is 30 miles away. Well, you never know what you can do until you try. Here goes. Up. Up. Dad, look, there it is. That's the airport. And when there's the gate. Elsie, what are you doing? You'll put us in the ditch. Sorry, I can't help it, Dad. I had to make that turn. Would have gone right by if I hadn't. Look, what's that? Up there. Up there on the runway. That is the runway. Oh, oh, there was a flash of light. It's a plane. It's going up. I saw it in the flash. Elsie, stop. Stop. Help. Help. Stop that plane. Stop it. Dad, come back. It's too late. They're moving. Oh, that's the running. Dad, let's go. That 
supposed to be the plane. Nobody else is supposed to be taking off in weather like this. Why doesn't somebody come? Stop them! Catch them! Somebody stop them! High over the airport, a great white seaplane rocks and slips in the sudden grip of a storm. Lightning jabs wickedly through low clouds. Shows figures running wildly for shelter on the field below. Shows another figure, faster than the storm itself, racing down in the wind. Superman! Come just in time to meet a seaplane heading south with the Indian priests of Mazatlan. Ah, there she is. Must be. Private seaplane swinging toward the open water. And what fools to take off at a time like this. Great Scott, the lightning shows it up like daytime. That's what I needed. Sorry, gentlemen, you've got a fast ship there, but it's not quite as fast as Superman. I think we'll just put a sudden stop to that trip south. If I brought down an auto gyro, shouldn't wonder if I could do the same with the seaplane. Here I come. Now then, if I dive into the cabin... What the... Great heavens, lightning! Most lightning struck the plane and smashed the pieces on fire. The men are falling into the water. If I don't catch them, they'll be drowned. Gotta get there fast. Down, down into the sea. Faster, faster! What happened, Elsie? I, I couldn't see. Oh, Dad, I don't know. The lightning. Could you make it out, Elsie? No, Dad, I'm not sure. It seems as if a, a bolt of lightning went right through the plane. And then I didn't see anything at all. Yes, yes, stay under the shelter. Dad, good heavens, here comes Mr. Kent. Kent? What, Kent, what, what did you... Good evening, Doctor. Or rather, good morning. You got room in here for three more? Why, those men with you, the brown men, Kent, the priests. Oh, yes, strangest thing. I, I was on my way here following the auto gyro when there was a flash of lightning and a seaplane went down in the sea just off the breakwater. And you rescued them? All but one, Doctor. The pilot was done for. The lightning bolt went right through him. But these two, well, call it luck. Why, Kent, it's amazing. Simply unbelievable. Well, here we are. There's one thing I must tell you, Doctor. I had a choice. A choice? Yes, come over here a minute, will you? Yeah, that's better. Yes, a choice. I could have saved the baggage with whatever might have been in it. You understand, Doctor? Yes, I understand. The emerald. Yes, or the two priests. But I couldn't save both. It had to be one or the other. Mr. Kent, we understand. Human life, Miss Beecham. They've done a lot to you, poison arrows, fire. After all, well, there was something on their side, too. And I couldn't just sit there and let them drown. No, Kent, of course not. You did exactly right. Oh, I hoped you'd think that. It's too bad about the emerald, of course. No telling where it is now. The emerald of the Incas is gone. Forever. Mr. Kent, one of the priests, he's coming this way. White man, you save our lives. We of Azatlan, we thank you. Oh, don't mention it. You have great magic, white man. Magic greater than ours. I have seen you fly through air. Oh, that, that's enough of that. Never mind the rest. There's just one thing we want. Uh, we know what you want. The sacred emerald. But it is at the bottom of the great water. And then it's all over. And if that's the case, there's no use my keeping this any longer. What's that, Doctor? What? White man, where you find that? On the lawn outside my house. It's an amulet, a priest's amulet of the Azadlan Indians. Could it by any chance be yours? White man, white man, give it to me. Of course, take it. Oh, my goodness. It seems to mean everything to him. White man, you think you have lost, but you have not. What? Well, what does he mean? My magic tells me you do not want emerald to steal. No, no, of course not. On the emerald was writing. It was writing you wish to read? Yes, that's it. That's all I wanted it for, believe me. Very well. Writing is here. Where? What does he mean? Tapping his head. You mean to say you'll tell me everything that was on the emerald? You you can remember it? We will do that. Every last sign on the jewel of the immortal. But no one knows what it means. Yeah, that's all right. My studies, that's what I want to do. Work it out. It may take me years. But, uh, Kent, do you hear what he says? Dad, I can't believe it. Maybe the secret isn't lost after all. Once my people know what writing on emerald means, now they do not know. If you help them remember, maybe you do great good to all. Kent, I, I still don't believe it. It's not possible. Why, Kent, where are you going? Mr. Kent! Well, look, the, the emerald's gone, but everything else is all right. And I just remembered something. After all, I am a newspaper man. And this may be the biggest story since the flood. So long, folks. I'm on my way. Even though 
of the sacred emerald of the Incas is lost to humanity forever, the secret engraved on it may yet be revealed. Undoubtedly, we will learn what progress Dr. Beecham makes at some later date. In the meantime, Clark Kent is returning to his newspaper, The Daily Planet, where unknown to him, another exciting adventure awaits. Don't fail to tune in next time and follow the thrilling story of Superman. And remember, be sure to tune in the next thrilling installment of the amazing transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 27 for 1940. So if you'd like to subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have, an, we have another video coming out real soon.